Hi Pisces, this is going to be your 2020 soulmate reading. I hope that you're doing well. So we're going to have a look, see what is coming through dur throughout the duration of 2020 and what is the messages, you know, that I can give you. So I hope that you're doing well. And also if you'd like to win a free reading with me, information will be in the description box below. They're done within 24. Oh, sorry. Hold on a second. If you'd like to win a free reading with me, information will be down below. Um, I do a free reading giveaway every month, so if you want to enter, it's very, very simple. Information is down there. If you'd like to win a private paid reading, which is what I was mentioning as well, um, they're done within 24 to 48 hours. All the information is down below. And then finally, if you'd like to purchase any of my intention bracelets, they are on Etsy, so the link to my Etsy shop will be down below. Also, do check out the reviews on there because you can see how it has actually helped certain people and what it does as well. Um, they're very affordable, so I'm wearing the Soulmate one and also the 2020 Energy Bracelet. They're saged, meditated with, they're there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. And um, they are also handmade by me, so I hope that, um, you know... You, you love them. Um, but also, we are going to have a look into this Pisces reading. See what's coming through for 2020. Let's see, let's see. Oh, something has flipped over. Let's go for it. So it is this card right here. It's the tower. Tower has flipped over. So we have tower the full. We also have the three of wands with the chariot. Wow. Three major arcanas and then a three right here. So the three of wands. Three and three. Now threes and tarot are about lessons. Threes are all about karma as well. Now what I'm seeing is that there's definitely lessons that you and your soulmate have learnt and I feel like in 2020 this is about things being rediscovered, rebuilding on things. Listen, even if you're pretty happy with your soulmate and things are going well, there's always lessons that the universe is trying to get us to learn. There's always growth that they're trying to push us towards. And so I'm really seeing that now if you're single or you're in a situation with your soulmate or you have no idea who your soulmate is or you are aware of your soulmate, whatever the situation is, I'm seeing that this is a pretty open reading in this sense because it's shown here you know, rediscovering elements of your soulmate that you really didn't know about before and having this sense of joy and excitement towards it. The Fool is showing a sense of adventure. You've got the Sun there showing positivity, warmth, happiness and joy. You've got this uh, fun, fresh feeling. Did I just say fun? <laughs> fun. Fun, fresh feeling of things feeling so good, so exciting and also a trip that the two of you can take together because we've also got the chariot here which shows forward movement and progression in the sense of travel. Tr the chariot is a card about, you know, things moving forward, but it's also a card about travel. There we go. I got there in the end, but that's what I meant there. We've also got yin and yang which shows balance. Now the tower here is also about your soulmate finding things about you that they really didn't... I mean, it's not like they didn't know this before, but I mean, it can be that there's certain things they didn't know about you before, but also certain things that they just didn't really acknowledge before or they didn't really uh, let into themselves. So this is about them rediscovering elements or discovering fresh new elements of you that they're like, wow, that's really interesting. That's really exciting. I think because your soulmate also here is awakening more and more, that's something that's coming through with the full card, that they are finding things about you that they really like. Now, this tower card is very unique in this deck. This deck is called Trip and Wait, just in case anyone's wondering. But essentially, this is about rediscovery. You know, this is about finding, wow, there's this tower here, you know. Wow, things are happening for the two of us. It's like a lost sort of, it's like the lost city, but in this connection, it's about things that perhaps were overlooked or not really thought about at the time, like now they have so much more meaning and value. So that's what I'm seeing there and the three of wands here is about, you know, lessons. It's like you might think that you know um, a person in that sense, but there's always more that you can learn about a person that can be really exciting and it can sort of revive the connection as well. So there's almost this revival that I'm seeing here, a revival, but also it's like sometimes we can make judgments upon a person, but actually we may not know that person completely in that sense and there can always be exciting things about that person that we grow to learn and it's about time you know time is about patience sometimes people like to make decisions on people and your soulmate could have made certain judgments or decisions 
on you based upon, you know, a short amount of time that they've, you know, spoken to you and things like that. But it takes time to really get to know a person truly in that sense. But also, that's what's happening now. You're rediscovering elements of each other as well as time goes by. And it's fun. It's exciting. It takes things forward. Also, in a soulmate connection, it's it's very common as well that you sort of just feel like you've known this person your entire life. You just, you know, you just know this person and you know everything about them. But it's, it's again, it's that element in 2020 of feeling like you've known this person. But also, rediscovering elements that you just you know, didn't, it feels like you, you've known them, but you're rediscovering elements that you didn't know, which, you know, is just crazy, and it's amazing, because you get to know more about them at the same time, even though if you felt you've already known so much more already, if that makes sense. So that's what I'm seeing with those four cards. Let's progress on. There we go, two of cups, we've got the two of wands as well. Okay, now we're getting the twos. So we had all the threes there, three major arcanas with the three of wands, and now we're getting these twos. Alright, so we've got here the two of wands, the three of wands, and also the four of wands. I feel like we're playing the numbers game here. Essentially, also the other thing I'm seeing in 2020 is that you may see a lot of repeating numbers. Now, if you see a lot of repeating numbers, then that means that you're on the right path in your life, and there are definitely a lot of uh, meanings that those numbers have. So, for example, Google will be your best friend in regards to that. I do have a video about what 1010 means and what 1111 means, but I don't have a video explaining all the repeating numbers, that might be something I do in the future, but for sure, for, for now, at least, you know, if you're seeing repeating numbers like 1313, or 1414, or, um, you know, 1111, or 0000, or whatever it is, um, definitely do Google it, because there's a lot of information online um, about different repeating numbers and what they can mean to your situation, so I would definitely and highly recommend that. So, with this two of wands here, um, it is definitely showing a lot of growth, a lot of progress, progression, and also travel as well. You know, you've got this heart in one hand, which is in the shape, well, it's, it's a globe, right? But it's in the shape of a heart. So that's showing travel as well. It's showing uh, communication, balance, and also attraction as well with this fiery energy. We see here a very mutual connection. So this is also about the connection growing, blossoming, flourishing. We've got an angel up here, which shows divine timing. And in 2020, things are moving forward. Things are progressing. Things are getting stronger. Also, Four of Wands, right? This Four of Wands is a very, very strong card, which is all to do with um, balance, progression, um, attraction, chemistry, but also a very spiritual connection as well. Again, what did I mention? I mentioned repeating numbers when these two twos also came out. 1111. This is the 1111 card. It's also an angel card as well. So again, um, I don't want to repeat the message again, but essentially you may see a lot of repeating numbers, which will also sort of relate to your situation. Knight of Swords, lots of progression. You've got an angel wing right here. Just know that this connection is protected by your angels and your guides, and there's just a lot to come your way in terms of this connection. There's for sure a lot of progression that I am seeing here. So definitely, you know, that is something that's coming through very, very strong. We've got the Guru here. So this is a connection that is very, very well protected. It is a very spiritual connection in nature. It's going to grow to a very high level. Trust your intuition, your gut, but also, there you go, look at that. Empress is ruled by Venus. This is about things growing, getting stronger, the connection blooming, blossoming, and the Empress is ruled by Venus. So you can definitely expect things to really grow to a very high level in 2020. This is an incredible and exceptional reading. Again, learning just more and more about each other, even if you feel like you just know already so much about them. This is about more. There you go, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands. How amazing is that? Right, so Ten of Wands here is about sort of healing, releasing and letting go of things that just haven't been serving you. This is a good thing to do, but this is also what your soulmate is going to do in 2020. They're going to heal, release and let go of parts, you know, of themselves and things that they just have not been able to either let go of or things that they just haven't been able to accept. And also... Ten of Pentacles here is about, you know, the stars aligning, a sense of peace. This is about initiating things, allowing this union to really progress for the two of you and being able to build something really beautiful and very, very strong. This genuinely is one of the best readings I've done, Pisces, and just look at this. So this is your reading. 
things are going to get stronger, things are going to grow, blossom, bloom, and I really do see that on the cards for you in 2020, including travel and just forward, you know, progression in terms of this connection. Lots of repeating numbers as well. So Pisces, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And definitely do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. Hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, and do take care. Bye!